Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Long Dark with me, just Joe. Uh, so they actually did do a small uh, update for this game, another hotfix. But included in the hotfix was uh, harvestable items like the old man's beard, the hanging moss right here. Uh, in the coastal highway and the um, mystery lake regions. So now they've added that there. I do not know if the bear uh, is going to also be here. But I did come back through the path uh, from Pleasant Valley back into Coastal Highway. Um, mostly because, well, that area seems extremely huge. I was able to find a gun. However, ammunition was pretty hard to come by. Uh, so I have like two bullets or one bullet. So I came back across and then... I was following the path down and I just made it right here because it was the first flat spot and I, I didn't even know that this thing was here. I completely had always missed this. I, I mean I knew about the forestry lookout in the Mystery Lake area but I didn't know about this abandoned lookout that's here in the coastal highway region. I mean you can literally see down to the whole lake below. So I actually uh, was coming back and I was going to do another video and then when I saw this I was inclined to just stop and uh, actually catch this in the video as well. Okay. There we go. So now I have actually come up here already but I tried to leave it not scavenged so I could get that on, uh, on video here. Hmm. Okay. I, uh, in my travels, I got stuck outside overnight, and uh, it was a bit, even in uh, Pilgrim, but a bit of a struggle to stay alive. It was like for uh, harvest for wood, or um, yeah, or try to get wood, and then make a fire, and then let that fire burn as long as you could, and then you had to harvest more wood, and you also have to eat and drink. You have to stay warm because I was also freezing. But I got stuck out. The weather just socked in on me while I was trying to venture back here, actually, to the uh, coastal highway region. I mostly came back because I, I want to stock up on uh, ammunition, and it seems much more easily, or much more easy to come by in the coastal highway region and even the mystery lake region. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload here. See, I only have two bullets. Now, I do like the new region a lot, actually. Let's see here. So this... Is this a path? So this... is not a path. Okay. Too steep. Uh, also, the one thing they mentioned in the update as far as, like, wolf population in the, uh... Coastal Highway region, I don't know if it's specific to the Coastal Highway region, but I know they mentioned it, uh, that the amount of wolves wouldn't change, so like the, uh, the amount of wolves that were already there wouldn't be any different, but if you killed wolves, the respawn rate was going to be changed. Uh, so they, I think they respawn a little bit slower, so you can actually, uh, from the sounds of it, I think reduce wolf population by hunting them. I mean, they're going to respawn at some point, but I guess you actually can reduce the population of wolves. Which is something that would be pretty handy when I um, go back and play through this thing on uh, the regular mode. You know, they said they didn't change the amount of wolves, but I'm hearing a lot more in this area than I than I used to. No, I mean, I know that building had to have been there prior to the update. I just must have just always walked right past it. It wasn't until when I'm not recording, I was just being a little bit more explorative and not sticking to the trails as much that I actually found it when I was just started going off to the right. 
one thing that's a little different when you're, you're playing and you're making a video versus when you're playing um, a game like for yourself or, or while I'm trying to get to interesting points to actually make a video for if you can, yeah see like this stuff um, the major difference is, is you're trying to fit in a good amount of an entertaining material on and survival games that are lacking a story mode like this one uh, really only have game mechanics to show you guys so that's why towards the end of these videos like I said I'm, I'm really only going to be doing videos as update videos and uh, also when updates come out for the game but they did do that hot fix and I wanted to show the harvestable materials in him in the uh, coastal highway region and I also wanted to come back to get some uh, ammunition as well I was uh, quite overweight until uh, probably useful until that night I had to stay out in uh, in the cold I ended up going through quite a bit of food to, because I ended up freezing and I still don't have yeah I still don't have a lantern which is another reason why I wanted to come back because I searched like the two major structures there and a couple of the side structures and I'm I'm sure I'm missing stuff I'm sure I'm not catching stuff but that area is so massive and I just for some reason get so turned around in that area so I just figured I'd come back to an area where I knew I could scavenge up some of the stuff that I was looking for pretty quickly and then maybe uh, check out some of the crafting items that they've opened up or the harvesting items they also added uh, another harvestable plant I think it's like a, a reed or some kind I had read through all of it and I was trying to remember it now I can't seem to pull all the names of the stuff that they fixed it was actually quite a lengthy list for a hotfix and then of course they always throw in that you know in general and general else improvements you know other general improvements they do to the game performance wise silent clearing hmm. kind of ominous sounding So we got this is that uh, Rishi or Rishi mushroom, the old man's beard. I'm just picking some of that stuff up. I believe you can use it as a bandage, actually. I think it shows up in your first aid kit. Let me see here. I can actually maybe try and pull it up. Okay, so they have a bandage. Uh, no, I don't know. I know something showed up in there the other day when I was playing. And that was on my, my previous save that I ended up having problems with. And I just want to be clear, I can't account that that issue, that glitch, or that crash with my uh, GPU maxing out. I can't really account that to the game. Um, the reason for my computer crash had nothing to do with the actual game itself. It was some background uh, software. And uh, it was only because it crashed while I was playing that I think I had a problem and it may have crashed while I was going, you know, inside of a room or something. Well, what do we have here? Am I just finding all kinds of stuff I haven't seen before? What the heck? I thought I had pretty thoroughly explored these areas. Let's check this out. Alright. What do we have here? Looks like a place to get ammo, right? I'll take it. Okay, I'm a doing on. Okay, I got some room left. Yeah, I'm telling you, staying out overnight, man, it just totally wiped out my inventory as far as food was concerned. Sewing kit. I'm gonna leave that there. I have two sewing kits, I think. So, what do we have here? All right.
nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I really like having a lantern. I, I have a flare. I just don't like using the flares. I just don't like the light that it gives off. But I mean, using up matches like this just goes like crazy. Cause but you can do this. I was glad you could do this. I think I can use for when this. you don't have anything. We'll suck now. No, no mittens. You know what I think? I, do I have a torch still? No, I don't have a torch either. Shoot. I need a crafting bench to make another torch. Can't just craft it. It's got food in the bedroom up here. Best be prepared Basic for anything. Winter coat. God, it's heavy. I'm only taking it because I want to see basic boots. Yeah, I already have basic boots. Okay. Just really quickly, let me see if that coat is for some reason better than the one I have. I'm always looking to upgrade, especially after spending that night out in the cold. Uh, 4.8, 3.2. Wow, this ski jacket does suck. This basic winter coat actually is better. Okay, we'll go with that. And just gonna go ahead and harvest the ski jacket for the claw. This is how I like to do, like when I'm inventorying uh, clothing items, I like to actually just, I know, I'm, I know I'm wasting my flare in the background there, but I like to just try to keep all my stuff upgraded and if I do find anything else that is better, then I'll equip that, harvest the old stuff for the cloth, and just kind of try to keep my, uh, keep my clothing in good working order. This stuff will come in handy. Especially when you're playing on the other modes, it's much more difficult to survive in one rifle round in the bathroom. Yeah, loot's getting a little crazy. I'm not going to take any of the water. Medicine, medicine shelf. Antibiotics. Point two. I'll take it. Mm. Nope. This will come in handy. That is one and a half pounds, and I am literally right at my max. Search, search, search. Okay. Let's. I think let's move on. Yeah, I think let's move on. We should still be early in the day. Oh no, we're actually three in the afternoon. Okay. I thought I was moving much more quickly than that. So another bullet. I feel like Barney Fife and my my lucky bullet. Hmm. Where does this head to? Like, what is this overlooking? Oh, that's the highway right there. How have I never seen this? Like, walking down there. That is ridiculous. Okay, slowly, slowly. There we are. Wait, what was out there? It's a deer. Not a deer. Car. Hmm. I don't know which. How far I am, I believe. Well, let's just go this way real quick. I see a house right here. Oh, yep, this is where I wanted to be anyway. This is where I feel like I might be able to come up with some ammo. And if I'm lucky, maybe a little bit better clothing. I'd like to find the cargo pants. Ooh, a lantern. Yeah, that's what I need, a lantern. I'm pretty sure I can find a lantern in here. Almost no doubt about it. Almost. We'll see. I'm going to look for that first, actually, because I'm still chunky as far as my weight. So. No. Okay. Light a flare. Let's do that again. It helps me lose some weight anyway. I, I don't know why you don't automatically just chuck a used flare after you're done with it. I don't know why it goes back into your inventory. Really? Wow. 
Ah, uh, there we are. Come to me. Yeah, and now I'm encumbered. Phantasmo. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toss that used flare. Two used flares. Drop. Drop. See, I picked up another hunting knife while I was out exploring, and I have way too many sewing kits. Okay. Um, I don't mind dropping stuff in here because they can know I can always come back for it. So I'm using that one. I'll go ahead and just drop that. Drop that. Burned out torch. I can harvest the reclaimed wood, but I, I don't really care about that right now, so I just drop it. I'm still overweight. Jeez. I don't need the two knives, and I don't feel like harvesting one, so I'll drop that. I only have one can opener, flares, lantern fuel. I'll put in the lantern, refuel, and I don't care about this thing anymore, really. I like to use my lantern. Plus, I saw a jerry can of fuel in here, plus I have a bunch of lantern fuel on me, so... Not too worried about it. Let's see if I can find some ammo. Darn it. I think I found ammo back here once, like where this little cot is set up here. Um, hmm. Okay. And I don't have a pry bar. So maybe I'll find one of those in there. There's another bedroll right there. I don't know if it's a glitch or if they meant to do it, but when you repair the bedroll, you don't use the sewing kit. You use simple Probably tools. Probably useful. No, I don't need coffee. Yeah, I don't know if that was intentional or if that's something that they're going to change. Oh, right. Come on, ammo. Maybe the house would be better for ammo. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found ammo in a filing cabinet, so let's go to the house. There's like one good house here behind the behind the uh, like service center there. Wait a minute. Some of this stuff is different. They changed, like, colors or something, because I could have swore, like, these buildings were bluish before. That's kind of weird. They did say they did some uh, graphical updates or texture updates, so maybe that's that's it, but... Okay, so ammo. Okay. Ammo usually is that... I don't typically feel like I find ammo inside stuff. I feel like I find it in a box sitting somewhere. Like under the bed or... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they made it more difficult to I'll find ammo. It. I mean, I remember the last couple playthroughs I did, I, I had like 30 rounds total at some point. I didn't do a lot of hunting, so I mean, I'm pretty much... I didn't mean to take that. I didn't do a lot of hunting in the game, so I, I you know, was kind of saving up the ammo. Mostly because I, I was going to go do the big hunts and do the big crafting stuff, so I was trying to save up so, you know, I wouldn't get, like, halfway into a hunt and run out of ammo for that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's check this house out over here. I just remember this area being different. I remember, for some reason, I oh, what is this? Oh, that... I don't remember some of this stuff, and I was just in this area. I remember you used to have to be able to come into this house, actually. And now it's like a burned down structure. I could just be going mad, but I swear I used to go into that house. Things are a little different. Like, I think the mailboxes used to be blue. Okay. 
interesting. You know, I'm kind of more in an explorative mode right now because seeing that stuff's looking a little different, I'm, I'm just wondering what, all in all, what was changed with these recent updates. Because, I mean, I didn't really pay attention to this area when I was on my way to Pleasant Valley. I just was kind of like using it to keep on trucking. So did it come out with the actual update or were these some texture changes they did in the hot fixes or what? Kind of interested to see if anything else is different. Well, let's cross the road here to where there's some more buildings. And maybe we could run out to a fishing shack. Is that like a, I remember how those things, exactly how those things looked. Let's see if we can do that. Watch this wolf just magically run away from me. And the wolf whisperer. I can't even say that. Jeez. Wolf whisperer. It is funny, the animals do run away from you in a straight line. Which, like I said before, it is useful because you can drive deer to wolves and then shoot the wolves while they're eating the deer or chasing the deer. Let's check this out. Anything different? <coughs> Does this look any different? Not really. Not really anything different. Okay. We'll head back over here. I'll go probably check out one more building and then I'll call the end of this video here. I know this wasn't very exciting, but I'm just noticing some changes and I I wanted to go ahead and catch them. Get them out there and see if people could see it. Okay, let's get back to the roadway. Keep on trying. Okay, so that's that. Hmm. You know, this is interesting. It now that this update's out, I, it almost makes me want to like start. I mean, I knew I just did start fresh, but it kind of almost makes me want to start back in the other areas again. Alright. See, now this is the houses I remember selling kit there. See, ammo is usually going to be... Sometimes I've found it, like, under the bed. Tennis shoes. Nothing... Nothing spectacular here. Uh, cotton long underwear. Is that what I'm already wearing? Best to be prepared for anything. Push this back. Is that what I'm wearing already? Let's check it out. Cotton long underwear. Yeah, I'm already wearing that. Okay, no reason to pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call this video here. Just a, a quick uh, announcement, basically. Uh, with this game, like I said, I'll be doing more videos with it. I don't think it'll be uh, as consistent as like a daily basis. It will mostly be when I get to do some exciting stuff or when I get to do some of the crafting. Um, and I also will be adding another game to the lineup. And I also wanted to let everyone know a little about myself, actually. Uh, the game walkthroughs that I do, I'm doing a lot of survival indie games right now. I will be expanding and doing a lot of different style of games. Uh, in my personal walkthroughs, I typically don't cuss. It's not that I don't have anything against cussing. In my private life, I do use those words from time to time. But I do have a little sister that watches these and her friends that also watch these videos that I do. Uh, they're actually very excited to watch these videos that I do. So I just try to keep it clean. I know some of the games that I do play uh, will already have foul language and stuff like that. And in those cases, I will do my best to make sure I warn in the very beginning of the video if there's already going to be stuff. Uh, sometimes if it's a game I haven't played before, then 
I won't, I might not know uh, that the language is going to be there, but I, I should be able to give you fair warning. Uh, other than that, I know this is a kind of a startup channel right now. I do appreciate those who are actually watching and uh, subscribing and paying attention to the videos. Uh, I will be trying to do, uh, like I said, some more games. So if you could go ahead, please hit that like button. It does uh, help me out a lot. It helps out the channel a lot. And go ahead and subscribe so you can catch the new updates to the new videos that I'll be doing and the new games I'll be playing. Uh, I was hoping to get a new game out tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that done. But uh, hope I will definitely have it out by uh, like mid tomorrow if I don't get it out tonight. Uh, so other than that, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching. And I'm going to have more games coming. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.